home, Dr. Ford. No, Kelly, it's me. That, that is not very funny. You started it. Well, Dr. Ford isn't someone that I used to flirt with before we started dating. Uh, the operative word before. Stop. We don't have to pretend we're broken up anymore. But we're still on duty. I miss you. Patrick, if Dr. Ford saw you, he'd have you brought up before the board. Be everything you deserve. What, for unprofessional behavior? Do you think it's a little insensitive, rubbing this in Emily's face? I I'm fine. I actually owe Patrick for no, helping me No, you don't, to defend my son, believe me. He was all over you when he split with Robin. Now he's just living down to his reputation. <laughs> no, uh, I owe Patrick more than I can ever repay. Nicholas came down with a mysterious illness. Um, no treatment worked, and his condition was deteriorating. So he was pushing me away to try to protect me from getting hurt. Sound familiar? Pushing people away, telling yourself it's for their own good? So where do you and Robin come in? Well, I was treating Nicholas, and uh, we decided to act like a couple so he could keep up his pretense with Emily. It also helped to explain why I was staying at Windermere. And Patrick didn't know anything about this? No, not at first. No, but then I decided to tell him the truth, and of course I explained everything. We worked together on Nicholas's illness. I came up with a cure. So, thank you for your concern, but it, it all worked out. Well, I... Two things to say. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm getting to therapy. <laughs> and you have room to talk. You know, you guys, you always bring your personal problems to work. Epiphany is always on you two about keeping your private and your professional lives separate. I agree. Get a clue. You could. You, me, that's wrong beef. <laughs> Start of a perfect evening. You're such a romantic. Yeah, Chinese who brings it out of me. <laughs> you know, we have to be more discreet. Are you worried about people in my apartment building thinking we're sleeping together? <sighs> no, I meant at work. Noah was right. We have to learn to separate our personal lives from our professional lives. Yeah, because he was great at that. I really don't think he was trying to take the moral high ground. I think your father just wants us to learn from his mistakes. You know what? I thought I lost you, even after I found out that you were only with Nicholas because Craig forced you to. Mm -hmm. I had to fight every impulse to do this. I couldn't stand it either. I fantasize about you all the time. Well, I fantasize about you and we're together. Well, I do, I do too, but I'm trying to make a point, so just go with it. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> okay. I have a really good idea about this personal versus professional thing. Yeah, what's that? Spend much more time away from work. Starting now. I like that. Szechuan beef. You want some? Mm-hmm. Well, come get it. Open wide. Mmm. <laughs> mm, that's good. That's good? Mm-hmm. Is it as good as... Not even close. <laughs> Still pretty good, though. <clears throat> you know, I've missed this. Being fed by me? Well, I used to like living alone, not having to answer to anybody, have my own place, everything exactly where I wanted. Really? I, I, I hadn't noticed that at all. Mm. Hmm. But this time, <laughs> I find myself missing the whine of your electric toothbrush. The smell of the lotion you put on at night. All your under things on my shower rod. And yes, how you constantly rearrange my furniture. I found myself being alone. I uh, felt empty. Hmm. And all this time, I thought that my under things bugged the heck out of you. You know this whole personal versus professional dilemma? 
Mm. I think it's gonna solve itself when we come back here every night after work. Yeah, I'll spend the night whenever I can. What do you mean, whenever you can? Well, you know what? We really shouldn't discuss living arrangements. It's a bad topic for both of us. Well, it wouldn't be if you would agree to move back in and start again. I don't think our relationship could survive it. Well... We're together, we're happy. We have takeout, we don't have to be anywhere until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Isn't that enough? You're dodging. Because we've been through this so many times and it always ends badly. We spend weeks apart. Long enough to know that we don't want to live without each other. That doesn't mean we need to be together 24-7. Okay, you know, I'd ask you if it was because I snore or, or turn the thermostat too, too low or slurp my coffee, but I know it has nothing to do with that. It is kind of annoying when you leave your wet towels on the floor. This is amazing. We've totally flip-flopped. I used to be the one to say, you know what, just relax and enjoy yourself. You're the one that wanted something more permanent. See? Aren't you glad I'm finally listening to you? You're hiding. You're scared that if we move in together, we're going to break up. I, I don't want to have this fight. Okay? okay, why does it have to be a fight? Because we are two people who are madly in love with each other, but are basically incompatible. And nothing we have been through is going to change that. You've 